And there are some of these relatives who ask you for money. Some of them are even better off than us who live abroad. Oh, life abroad is not easy. Sometimes us people who live abroad, when we come to Africa, when we come to Kenya, we admire those people who live there. Like with the salary that I get here, uh, if it was the same salary that I, I was getting in Kenya, I could be balling. I could be balling. Yeah, they want iPhone 15. They want a laptop. They want uh, um, perfume, Gucci, Prada. <laughs> and you're like i don't even have these things that you guys are asking if me myself i cannot afford them how can i buy for you how can i get you a a, a prada bag for two thousand euro three thousand euros <laughs> hey guys welcome to my channel it is a beautiful sunday morning here in italy i am in the car because uh, uh, my son has a game. We are supposed to be here by 10. So he can train from 10 to 11. That's when the game begins. Um, so I'd have to sit in the car for one hour before the game starts. Um, a little chit chat story time video. First of all, uh, the Christmas uh, um, spirit is in the air. <laughs> and uh, I am overwhelmed. Let's start by that. At work, we have a lot of things to do. A lot of uh, work to print. Um, and for those who don't know, I work uh, at a printing company. And my ex-husband is one of my bosses. <laughs> yeah, I said in one of the video, someone told me that um, uh, they cannot work with their ex-husband. <laughs> and my question is, why should I lose an income just because we are separated? I could have left a well-paying job uh, so that I can go look for another job somewhere else or even sit at, at home just because uh, I'm separated. <laughs> Sorry, not me. I cannot uh, uh, fumble uh, a bag just because uh, I am, um, me and him, we went different ways. That's where I get my daily bread. That's where I get money to be able to pay um, my bills. That's where I get money to be able to, be able to feed my children. No, 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 no. And but even someone else asked me, you just say that you're not bothered, but the day you will see him with a permanent poor a, a girlfriend, you will get mad. I would get mad if I still love him. Even if he brings 10 girlfriends at work, they have coffee right in front of me. I am not bothered because uh, that is a ship that has sailed. I respect him as the, as the father of my children, but I don't love him at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't have any feelings for him. Uh, and I'm very sure he does not even have feelings for me. Now, when we meet along the corridors, uh, because we work in two different departments, we just say, ciao. But anyway, that is beside the point. We have a lot of things to do at work. Um, and uh, we are going to close, uh, I think, on the 22nd. And we go back uh, on the 3rd. Yes, crossing fingers. Uh, Anyway, I am here to buy all the Christmas gifts for my children. I ordered something for Alisa uh, on Zalando. I hope it gets here on time. I'm thinking maybe today after the game, I can uh, go to the mall and buy uh, something for Davi. And I hope <laughs> I won't be tired after the game. Like uh, here abroad, you need to squeeze Everything here, 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 here to be able to do and uh, to manage your life. If you are disorganized, uh, it is going to be hard for you. And talking about buying Christmas gifts, uh, obviously, as people who live abroad, uh, you will get that relative that will send you a message. Uh, are you coming for Christmas, Lizzie? And uh, that's the message that I got last week. Are you coming for Christmas, Lizzie? I said, why are you asking? And they were like, uh, bring, if you're coming, bring for me a laptop, bring for me um, a nice coat, uh, yes, so that I can uh, do rounds around the village so people can see I'm looking hot, uh, and bring for me um, a perfume, yes, those are the three things that I was asked uh, to take uh, to Kenya if I'm going for Christmas. Do you know what I replied? No, I am not coming to Kenya, but if you send me money, I can buy for you. A perfume, laptop, and a coat. <laughs> Do you know this person uh, got mad? 
And you're like, Kwenda, where you are from? Translated from Swahili. Go away. You, you, you don't have a good heart. <laughs> I don't have a good heart just because I have told this person to send me money and I buy for them all these things that they're asking for. And then I can send them. But they don't even spend my money to send them. Like they think that here money falls from the tree. Like Lizzie wakes up. Uh, she cleans her booty. She cleans her face. Then she goes outside and collects money from the trees. Yes. Here abroad, we collect money from the street. Or we find money on, on, on the road. Laid like a red carpet. We just collect money. Like... I don't know how many times I have said, uh, life abroad is hard. We don't collect money from the road. Oh. We work hard. Sometimes three, people have even three jobs to make ends meet. But you still find an ignorant relative who will send you a message so that you, you can buy all these things for them for Christmas. And uh, who is sending money to me so I can buy gifts for my children? That is my question, though. Who is sending money to me? Like I always repeat, I have never received any money from no relative, even to buy my children handkerchief. Da, she lives abroad. She doesn't need that money. Da, she's rich. Hey, <laughs> rich where? I'm not going to say I'm poor because God has blessed me. I have never lacked uh, I, I don't have any um, debity. Like, I don't have my Denny with people. I, pay all, I paid all my bills, uh, insurance, car insurance, and whatever. But I am not rich. Oh. I am managing. I am managing. And some of these people, there are some of these relatives who ask you for money. Some of them are even better off than us who live abroad. Oh, life abroad is not easy. Sometimes us people who live abroad, when we come to Africa, when we come to Kenya, we admire those people who live there. Like with the salary that I get here, uh, if it was the same salary that I, I was getting in Kenya, I could be bowling. I could be bowling. But with the salary that I get here, after paying all the bills, after buying food for the children, after buying moisturizer for my skin and makeup, ah, even saving is hard. But I try to save uh, like 400 euros every month. That is like 40k. I try to save 400 euros every month. Uh, plus, uh, I opened a bank account for, uh, for my children. Uh, I try to throw like uh, 100 euros uh, every month in, uh, for their future. It is a sacrifice. Uh, it is a sacrifice that we do. But uh, yes, uh, he, the person who sent me that message that I buy for them, all these things, he was mad. He said, Quenta, una <laughs> uh, If it was a few years ago, I could be mad. I could have gone back and forth. When you kona rombaya, I could have um, read him for filth, but I just laughed. Because at some point you are like, these people will never understand. You can even lay down flat, cry, tell them that life is hard abroad, but they will never believe you. They are like, eh, Aliyah, eh, na pesa na situ, seme Africa tu na pesa. For how she says she does not have money, she lives abroad. And as people here in Africa, we say we don't have money. Like how? How? No, it can't be. Like, uh, I stopped explaining myself. Uh, I just send, when they send me all these requests, uh, send me money, send me money, buy me a gift, buy me laptop, buy me um, photo camera, buy me Gucci, Gucci belt, which I don't even have a Gucci belt, buy for me Chanel bag, which I don't even have a Chanel bag. I just laugh and ignore. Like, even by the way, I wanted to come to Kenya uh, this Christmas. Yes, uh, but uh, I looked at the air ticket uh, prices and I was like, what? You know, it's high season. Many people, many Kenyans who are living abroad, they are going back home for Christmas. Um, tourists are going to Kenya, so it's high season. So the tickets are expensive. Are expensive. So I was like, mm -mm -mm. I will go to Kenya when it's low season so that I can pay less. Yes, and if they hear you saying that, they're like, Atipaka, a ticket and a semi is expensive. Yes, I was to pay almost 3,000 euros. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Asha, let me save that money for tomorrow. We can go when it's low season, like in September. We can pay less. When I told, when I wrote on my Facebook, uh, 
that uh, uh, if I didn't have children, I could have gone back to Kenya. Some people are like, how? And the way we, as we are looking for an opportunity to come abroad, what they don't know is what happened behind the scenes. Maybe they see you posting uh, some nice shoes, some nice uh, car, some nice whatever, but it is a sacrifice to get all those things here abroad. And it is true, but if I didn't have children, I could have gone back to Kenya. Mostly because uh, financially, I could even be better there because I've invested uh, in Kenya, in land uh, and property. Plus, second of all, uh, uh, for, mental, uh, for, for my mental health, uh, because there are some things that we go through here abroad, like discrimination, prejudice, we face racism. Uh, those are things that maybe some people don't talk about. And if you're not strong mentally, you can go down. No? They can take a toll on your mental health. Uh, so when I, say, when I said that uh, if I didn't have kids after divorce, I could have gone back to Kenya, I mean it. Because in Kenya, no one is going to make you feel like you are different. Here in Italy, most especially the recent years, there is a lot of racism. Like they cannot stand black people, and uh, they will show you maybe in a subtle way, or some of them will openly show you that they mm -mm, they don't want black people around them. So some these are some of also the challenges uh, that as black people we go through here, and then you have relatives on the other end. Uh, who are asking for money, they don't care for your well-being, they just want coins. So it's not easy at all. But uh, we praise Jesus, we are still here, we are still blessed and moisturized. And uh, like I said, I don't get angry anymore when uh, them relatives send me a whole list like this of uh, me sending it to, for me to buy them for them. They ask, some they ask for some crazy things. Uh, they want Apple, Apple products like iPhone 15. And for me even to buy for myself this iPhone 14, I had to save a lot. I gifted myself last year for my birthday. They want iPhone 15. They want a laptop. They want um, perfume, Gucci, Prada. <laughs> and you're like, I don't even have these things that you guys are asking. If me, myself, I cannot afford them. How can I buy for you? How can I get you a, a, a Prada bag for 2,000 euros, 3,000 euros? <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that good jazz. Till next time, ciao.